Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We have a kind of simple day, nothing crazy. We're uh, not doing really anything too crazy with the BRZ today. We have a photo shoot later for some um, some merch stuff, so I was gonna bring you along to kind of get a behind the scenes on what we do as far as like photo shoots with merch and stuff. Um, this morning we're about to go to the gym, uh, get a quick workout in, start the day, and then uh, come back here, we'll grab the BRZ, Let's go wash it because uh, it's a little dirty. Um, but we got <laughs> defrost Abby's car. It's pretty cold here in Arkansas. Um, and it's about to get a lot colder. We're supposed to get snow Monday. So I'll probably be snowed in for a couple days. But uh, yeah, today's just going to be a kind of simple day. Uh, I'm going to be doing a QA at the end of this video. I had a few people on Instagram, you know, ask me some questions that they wanted to know. I'm going to answer those on the channel today. Ran out of my other pre workout, so we kind of picked up some at Target. I'm trying out the Solani Breezeberry. So we're gonna see what that's like. But um, let me know what y'all's favorite pre-workout is. What do you want? We don't get much cam reaction. <laughs> Cammy. <laughs> so, in the last video, I was supposed to install her taillights, <laughs> but they didn't have an adapter. The guy that she, uh, that her friend bought them from. And uh, so, it finally came in, so now we can get her taillights in. Kind of doing some mods here and there. She's been wanting to do mods for a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna go get a quick workout in, and then. Uh... Look! Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, the pre-workout kicked in. <laughs> <laughs> we made it to the car wash. Um, all the spots are taken up right now, uh, so we're waiting on a spot to open up so we can wash our cars. Uh, we're running a little behind. It's already 2:30. We're supposed to be there at three, and the drive's about 27 minutes away. Um, but it'll be all right. Uh, got Dakota with us in his Mustang. <clears throat> We're both gonna be shooting together. And um, Kyle said that he's also running behind, so it's all right. Hopefully these people don't take too long and we can wash our cars. My car is really easy to clean, so it shouldn't take us long at all to to wash our cars. His is pretty nasty. He he drives his a lot more than mine. And uh, he drove in some rain this weekend, and so he's got water spots all over his car. So his is probably going to take a little longer than mine. We're all finished up with the car wash. I couldn't really get a whole lot of clips because this car wash is, like, packed today for some reason. Um, so I couldn't really get a whole lot of, like, B-roll clips. But Dakota is finishing drying up his car. I'm just going to air dry. I always do that. I don't know why. We're now headed to the spot, and uh, we're going to meet Kyle, Tyler, and a buddy of mine there who's going to model the shirts for us. I will see y'all as soon as we get to the spot. Have you always been thinner whipping the, the bag? Uh, yeah. yeah. This is the Mob King right here. Professional dripster. Look at look at the fit. Look at the fit. Four <laughs> I'll let her run. Yeah, run right there. Her ass if she runs somewhere else. Whoa! <laughs> that's abuse! Abuse? Abuse! It's more behind the Exit scene. the vehicle with your hands up. <laughs> License and registration. <laughs> See, he missed. If I would have, like, like, that shit would have connected, bro. See, in a ring, that wouldn't happen. Because <laughs> you know why I'd be knocked out. <laughs> them birds in the river but I only see one bird <laughs> squat boy damn boy you see my butt cheeks <laughs> clean those those uh, honey buns back there <laughs> Could keep it up. hey man that's keep PG hey, Mirage got that dump that's truck on him bro this is his YouTube man you're gonna have him cancel right? yeah, you're gonna cancel have having man. black you man butt cheeks on I'm gonna end up on video. CNN CNN <laughs> This is racially <laughs> motivated, sir. 90% of his whole entire channel is, is black butt cheeks, man. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> gotta start like somewhere, man. See so you scratching it. All right. Gotta make sure I get the quality in there. <laughs> when are you leaving, bro? That's where Abby's always like that. Sorry, guys. I'm a man. <laughs> Abby's always like, stop at the gas station. <laughs> I, ah, fuck it. Good, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, man. 
There you go. You see that? Right there. That's a good firm handshake. All right, let, let go, man. Fucking hurt my hand, dude. You get the titty? I did. Probably not, sir. It'll probably be like next one. Yeah. Oh, apparently. She's gonna have pasta food. Sorry. Wait, is this going on the channel? Here you go, Billy. Dude, that's sick. Who the fuck is calling me, man? Okay. It just looked like it just looked like a reflection, really. It doesn't even look that bad. <laughs> All right, guys, we are all finished up with the photo shoot. It was a really good shoot. Uh, everything went super well. Um, it was really cold, but for the most part, shoot went well. We got a bunch of really good shots. I wasn't really filming a whole lot. I was trying to help, you know. I was trying to help um, give a little bit of a creative direction on kind of what I wanted. So uh, I was moving around a lot, but Kyle kind of helped get a few clips um, here and there. Uh, I snagged a few. Um, but I am now heading back to the house. I'm going to grab some food for Abby and me. some of the questions that some of y'all asked on Instagram. I want to start doing this more often, so if you want to be in the next one um, and ask a question, my Instagram is in the description below if you want to go follow me. I do want to kind of, you know, find ways to interact with people who watch my YouTube channel and, you know, some of my followers on Instagram and stuff. I think it's a cool, a cool way to kind of interact with people. You know, allow y'all to learn a little more about me that y'all don't know. I'm going to go grab food. We're probably going to get some Chick-fil-A. I think Chick-fil-A is... <coughs> Chick-fil-A is kind of the move for tonight. So, you know, guys, some Chick-fil-A. And then we'll kind of be snowed in the rest of the weekend. So, not really going to have a whole lot going on for a few days. We don't get snow very often, but when we do, basically, like, all of Arkansas shuts down. Uh, so, I, I don't have to go to work Monday and possibly not even Tuesday. Uh, it really just kind of depends on how bad the snow is and the roads and everything. Hi right, guys, we are back at the house now. Um, gonna answer some of these questions uh, that was asked on uh, Instagram. First question, um, what's your next mod? Uh, so I haven't really decided yet. Um, I think I wanna touch up my interior a little bit, but there's a lot of things on the exterior that I need to fix up. So I think I'm gonna be buying the carbon stuff for the, uh, the carbon lip kit for the kit. Um, I didn't get that because we were in a rush and I didn't have entirely the whole amount um, for the carbon kit. Um, so I just have a bunch of fiberglass pieces and I don't really like them. I'd rather have the carbon pieces. So I think that's probably going to be next. Uh, that or some meteor tires. I kind of want to do a meaty setup. So yeah, that's probably, <clears throat> those are probably my next two mods. Chasing Boundaries 86, a good buddy of mine. Um, he said supercharged turbo or swap. So actually I was going to 2J swap this car. Um, that was the initial plan. It's kind of still something that I want to do long down the road. Um, kind of after I've, you know, had my fun and um, enjoyed the car for a really long time. Kind of want to go a different route with it. But as of right now, uh, I think I'm going to end up turboing it. I haven't seen many supercharger setups on the new ones. Uh, I've seen a several turbo setups and they seem to be making some super nice power and you know handling it pretty well it's not uh you know taking a beating or <clears throat> blowing up uh, there's a few guys who have made the 500 range and their cars handle it fine the only things that they've needed to upgrade is the um, clutch as far as you know stock engine and then you got like injectors and stuff of course so yeah i think i'm gonna end up doing turbo for a while and then Later down the road, my swap it. Mikasa50 asked, another very good buddy of mine, um, he said, would you ever trade your BRZ in for the new Z? Um, probably not. I don't think I ever really want to get rid of the BRZ. I enjoy the crap out of that car, and it is so fun to drive. <clears throat> so I, I really don't 
think I could see myself getting rid of the BRZ. Next up, we got another good friend of mine, Indigo50. He said, what's your age? No way, you ain't 25 plus, my boy. Uh, I'm actually 21. Um, definitely not 25. I think my facial hair and my height kind of <clears throat> has a lot of people thinking that I'm older, uh, but I am only 21. Um, got a lot of life to live. He asked another question um, that said, what cars do you see yourself owning five to 10 years down the road? Five years, I could definitely see myself getting, you know, another decently cool car. Uh, I want a uh, some 90s JDM cars. Um, that's something I'm kind of after right now. Um, so probably like, you know, an R32, um, a S chassis uh, chaser, one of those things. But I, I'd say 10 years down the road. Uh, I mean, man, I, I have very high goals for myself. So honestly, 10 years down the road, I'd probably be looking at like probably a Porsche GT3 RS. Um, or a GT4. I love the I love the GT4s as well, um, and probably a Huracan. I've always loved Huracans. That's like one of my absolute dream cars is to own a Huracan. So probably a Huracan or a Porsche. Harry White said tips for starting a YouTube. Um, so I honestly can't give you a whole much. I'm I'm still learning YouTube as well. Really, the only advice that I can give is you know be confident. Um, you know learn with each video. You know, you're gonna start out, you're gonna be awkward in front of the camera, you're not gonna be perfect. You're gonna use a lot of yeah, um, so's, buts. You just kinda have to try and improve with each video and you know, try and get more comfortable with the camera and talking around people, vlogging in public. It's basically just, you know, <clears throat> consistency to try and get more comfortable with the camera. And honestly, just have fun. If you're in it for the money, you're not gonna enjoy it. Minis Media, what's the Bitten Bryant Little Rock car scene like? It is very mid. There's a few, you know, super clean cars, people who, you know, put a lot of money into their builds. Um, really, a lot of what Arkansas is, or central Arkansas, northwest Arkansas has a super good car scene. A bunch of super cool custom stuff. The central Arkansas scene is more of, you know, old guys with their Corvettes and um, later model muscle cars uh, you have a few supercars um, but as far as like you know my style of like stance and you know JDM uh, there's really not an insane amount Arkansas is more of a speed state so uh, not a lot of stance and looking good it's more of like who who has the most power but I'd say that you know it's not like a terrible car scene it's not the worst in the world um, but it's definitely not the greatest it's very small. I'll say that. Very small. Jay Hirsch said, what is your ultimate dream build? Um, probably a Huracan, to be honest. Uh, it's something I've always been interested in. Huracans are just so clean and sleek and I uh, just love that car so much. Um, so that's probably my ultimate build. Uh, I know I said I wanted a Porsche, but honestly, I really wouldn't do much to the Porsche. I'd probably leave it how it is. The only thing that I'd really do is wrap it. But the Lambo, I'd, I'd go all out on a Huracan. L Palmer Photography said, if you were forced to, what car would you swap yours for? <sighs> you know, that's a pretty hard question in the sense, you know, like, you, you throw in factors like if there's no budget or well if there's a, if there's a budget and I could afford it and you know it's not like insane like oh yeah I'd, I'd get a Lamborghini but no if we're talking realistic as of like right now I'd probably switch it for a Supra uh, I've always liked the Supras they're such a nice car and I think that's probably what I would um what I would do what is your goal of 2024 from 06 Jaden. I think my main goal is honestly just stay consistent with YouTube and with my other businesses. Um, you know, I want to push those super hard this year. Um, basically, my goal for 2024 is mainly do things that will help future wealth, um, future growth. So yeah, probably just focusing on, you know, growth as a business, trying to grow <clears throat> for my future and you know, be able to start kind of building, you know, um, not trying to take as many steps back uh, just to have a cool car. I mean, I'm going to be doing mods here and there <clears throat> and, you know, still building my car, of course, but 
not to the sense of you know just dropping thousands and thousands of dollars within six months. As far as my goal of 2024, um, you know, for specific goals, definitely want to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of this year. Um, I would love for that to happen. <clears throat> um, probably, you know, try and get into a shop with my business. That's one of the big things. I'd like to buy a second car so that way I can put the BRZ down and, you know, just drive it when I need to. And I can kind of do some, some things here and there to it and it can be down for a while while I'm doing stuff. And so I think a second car would be super nice or a truck. Um, I'm still debating on what I want to do as far as that. Uh, I think I'm still leaning more towards a, a second car. Um, definitely something four door so that way I can um, carry a bunch of parts with me. And then um, honestly just, you know, focus on my physical and mental health. And uh, some of y'all may not, um, believe but I, one of my biggest things right now is you know trying to get closer to God there's been a lot of ways that God has helped me in my life and he's brought me he's given me so many successes and um, I, I cannot even fathom how much God has done for me in my life and you know I'm not the same person I was five years ago and it's it's a true blessing I was going down a bad path so that's that's another big thing of mine I'm not gonna go too far into it but yeah definitely focusing on my YouTube channel focusing on downshift auto styling focusing on Empire um, focusing on my relationship you know trying to make sure that I get a good work and fun balance and uh, basically just you know focus on being better I mean it's being a better person being a better business owner being a better youtuber you know being just being better every every single year you just want to try and be better than the year before and you know figure out what you did wrong that year that you can do better this year and basically just improve as much as you possibly can and uh, <clears throat> so yeah I think that's my my 2024 goals and definitely um, one goal that I'm trying to do I really want to go to SEMA this year. Um, not my car, uh, probably, um, unless, you know, something crazy happens and I end up getting into SEMA, but uh, probably not this year. Um, I definitely do want to go just to visit SEMA, learn and see how people are building cars to the highest quality and seeing how I can change how I do my builds and, you know, improve and also try and make some connections for my business and for myself. Basically just a big business trip. I know a few friends of mine want to go and uh, so we'll go out there, hang out with them and, you know, just enjoy Vegas. I've never been to Vegas, so it would be another cool thing to go see Vegas this year. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all of my goals for this year. Um, I think that's going to be the end of this video. I <clears throat> don't really have a whole lot coming up for the car. Um, but I do have a couple videos in mind that I uh, I want to do. Hopefully the weather is decent um, this next weekend and uh, I could possibly record another video. But I'm going to be trying to upload as much as I possibly can. I'm trying to think of video ideas and there's no meets going on right now because it's peak weather time. Not really anybody comes out. Uh, so all of the meets are kind of down. But I'm going to think of some stuff for y'all. Um, if y'all have any ideas on like what y'all want to see from the channel, just let me know. Um, let me know in the description below. And if you want to be a part of another Q&A and you want to ask me a question, go follow me on my Instagram. It is down in the description below. And also go follow me on the Empire page where I will be posting clothing updates and <clears throat> where y'all can pick up some merch. If y'all want to see my downshift page where I you know, build cars for people and do certain mods for people's cars, if y'all just want to see that, that will also be in the description below. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see y'all in the next video.